everyone, Dr. Augustine here, and I got an update. We're doing some fun stuff. Let's get to it. Woo! Alright. Well, let me try to set this so you can see it a little better. Alright, so this is my temperature reading right now. So we got 87.8 degrees ambient outside. Actually, 88 now. And then 56.8 is actually coming out of my vents. Off of the electric AC. Fan going away. Uh, I've been watching my pressures and everything. My pressures have been staying good and solid. A little pop in the car. So I can show you all kind of what I did. We can get inside. Ooh, it feels good in here. All right. All right. So what I ended up having to do is I set it up on a switch right here. And so right now we're on research and everything else, but man, that, that actually feels really, really good. So if I go through and do this, well, that actually goes and that shuts off my AC. So I'll pop out. Going into its high mode. Does that pull off the condenser for a few more minutes? As you can tell, our temperature is starting to go up for the cabin. Go. And now, fans off. What I ended up doing is I ran that switch to the evap. Sorry, sorry about that. Ran the switch to the evaporator wire, and I got it all loomed up in here. Have it run around, and then down into the cabin to that switch. So we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. Have our temperature go up. So we're 89.6 ambient, and we are pretty shaded. This blocks 95% of direct sunlight, which is actually a really nice cover. We're almost 90 degrees sitting here. All right, so I'll pop back in the cabin. That's 70 degrees. So turn my switch back on. dropping it pretty quick too so I'm actually pretty pleased with that got a, gets all the way down to about a 30 degree difference which is actually really impressive so well that's what I got for right now next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the so I'm gonna pull that blower unit out and I'm gonna completely clean the evaporator make sure all the fins are nice and clean and get this thing like a best possible means to run at its best and that's what I want to be able to do. I can clean out that uh, evaporator, get all the junk and dirt and stuff out of all of that. Now oftentimes these cars don't have cabin air filters so they get clogged up pretty good. So after I get that done clean, I'll do a video on that one too. Thanks guys.